guys, my name is Mas Kagape, and for today's video, we are going to talk about the animal cell. Now, the animal cell has different significant parts, and each part plays a vital role for the cell to function properly. Now, the parts of my 3D model have already been made of camera, and the only thing left to do is to put the cell together. Now, as I assemble my cell, I am going to discuss the basic functions of each part of the cell. So without any further ado, let's proceed to our video. The first part of the cell that we are going to discuss is the cell membrane. The cell membrane, also known as the plasma membrane, is the outermost layer of the cell. It provides protection for the cell and it is responsible for providing a fixed environment inside the cell. One of the primary functions of the cell membrane is to transport nutrients into the cell and to transport toxic substances outside the cell. In this part, we can find the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is a cell component found inside the cell membrane. It is where we can find all the other parts of the cell. Most people confuse cytosol and cytoplasm. Cytosol is the fluid that surrounds the organelles of the cell. Next, we have the nucleus. The nucleus is a membrane-bound organelle that contains the genetic material of eukaryotic organisms. Inside the nucleus is the nucleoplasm, which is the darker shade of blue, and the nucleolus. The nucleus stores all the necessary information required to control all the activities within the cell. It is also known as the brain of the cell. The nucleoplasm is similar to the cytoplasm. The nucleolus is responsible for the protein synthesis and in the formation of ribosomes. The nucleus is placed at the center of the cell. Beside the nucleus is what we call the endoplasmic reticulum. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. We have the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. For my 3D model, I am going to use this side for the rough endoplasmic reticulum and let the glitters represent the ribosomes. And for the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, I am going to use the other side of the foam paper. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is studded with millions of ribosomes. It is involved with the production, folding, quality control, and dispatch of some proteins. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum is associated with lipid manufacture, metabolism, steroid production, and hormone production. It also has detoxification functions. The Golgi apparatus also known as the Golgi complex, Golgi body, or simply Golgi, is an organelle found in most eukaryotic cells. It packages proteins into membrane-bound vesicles inside the cell before the vesicles are sent to their destination. Now for the next part of the cell. This is the most commonly known part of the cell and everyone's favorite, the mitochondria. The mitochondria is known for being the powerhouse of the cell, for it generates most of the chemical energy needed to power the cell's biochemical reactions. The chemical energy produced by the mitochondria is stored in a small molecule called adenosine triphosphate. We also have the ribosomes. Ribosomes are cell organelles that function as the micro-machines for making proteins. These are minute particles consisting of RNA and associated proteins that function to synthesize proteins. The lysosome, and as I like to call it, the martyr organelle. It is also a membrane-bound organelle. It contains digestive enzymes and they break down excess or worn-out cell parts. They may also be used in destroying viruses and bacteria that could harm the cell. They are the epitome of martyrship. Vacuoles Vacuoles are storage bubbles found in the cell. 
They store food and any variety of nutrients a cell might need to survive. They can even store waste products so the rest of the cell is protected from contamination. And that is it for our video. I hope you have learned something from my discussion. Always remember that knowledge is power. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video.